But for now, let's turn to the debate. Uh, Peter Nicholas will join us from Washington. Morning, Peter. Good to be with you. Hi there. Now, listen, uh, this is a unique, well, not so much unique, but it's certainly a very different scenario from the previous debate in the sense that this is a town hall rather than a moderated one-on-one -on -one debate. And, and that, that has significance, for, for particularly for President Obama, right? Exactly right. The, the president wants to go on the offensive uh, tomorrow night. He wants to be aggressive. He need, his supporters need to see that. They want to see him show some passion, some energy, and some fight. The complication for Obama is that it's a town hall style format. So you're going to have real undecided voters asking real questions, and they expect answers. So to the extent that the president uses those questions as a vehicle to attack Mitt Romney, that may not go over so well. So it's a very different dynamic than uh, two candidates standing at podiums uh, trading accusations. You really can't do that so much in a town hall style uh, debate. Right. But the, the, the issue in some respects for Obama is that he needs to come out uh, swinging, right? I mean, there was real concerns that he wasn't tough enough on Governor Romney in the previous debate. Uh, we, saw, we saw, obviously, Vice President Joe Biden uh, pick up some of that uh, last week. But, um, you know, he has to come out in a fairly aggressive fashion, does he not? Well, he really does. His supporters want to see that. Uh, we quote somebody in our story today, a Democratic Party official in New Mexico, basically saying uh, how upset she was while watching the last debate, saying she didn't know how she would explain it to independent voters and Democrats who she needs to get to the polls, that you know the president just seems so passive. So his supporters really want to see him show that he wants to win this election. You know, the Democratic Party is asking a lot of uh, voters, they're asking them to contribute money, they're asking them to register, they're asking them to volunteer. The president has to show he wants it too. And Mitt Romney gained such a bounce from the last debate, um, essentially pulling even and even ahead in some national polls, the president needs to blunt some of that momentum. And the best way to do that is really with a, a strong, energetic performance. It could be a lively scenario then. Um, but uh, how about Governor Romney himself? I mean, he, uh, has, he, he, I suppose, he couldn't want to look too smug, perhaps, or too comfortable. What, what, what are the dilemmas that he might face? Well, Romney's major dilemma is that he has uh, had difficulty on the stump relating to people. Uh, that's been a problem for him. That's been something he's had to work on. So he needs to show some empathy. He needs to show that he understands people, everyday people's concerns, struggles to pay bills, things like that. And that may be hard for him because one thing you can be sure of is in this debate is the president is going to take that uh, infamous 47% uh, comment that Mitt Romney made at a private fundraiser where he said 47% of the country is uh, going to vote for Barack Obama and uh, is dependent on government, uh, government largesse. The uh, president's going to use that against Governor Romney. And in town hall style debate, that could be an effective potent argument because you're going to have real people on stage asking these questions. Right. You may well have some of those 47 percent out there in the audience. Uh, how does the uh, how does it work? Just talk us through maybe the, the format. Well, you're going to have undecided uh, voters and they're going to be asking questions and they'll be asking some questions and uh, that it may, may again, it may make it difficult for the candidates to stick to their talking points to stay on script. Uh, we've seen in some past debates, um, people have asked questions saying, we don't want to hear a red meat attack. We want to hear a real answer to the question. Well, I think what we're going to see in that instance is the president, President Obama in particular, picking and choosing. That might not be a question that triggers uh, a confrontation with Mitt Romney. He may need another question. So he's going to have to think on his feet a little bit. Peter, thanks very much for that.